everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Farron, I am your fashion guru. Today we're gonna to be talking about the necessary evil of pre-washing your fabric. We know we all hate it, but we have to do it. We're gonna be talking about the four reasons why it is important to pre-wash your fabric. I'm also gonna be talking about the different fabrics and how to pre-wash each of them. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, hit the little bell, and let's get started. Come on. So this is my fashion studio. My name is Farron. Hey, now that we're back in the studio, Let's go through some equipment, okay? A clear ruler, pencil, and your fabric scissors, and don't forget your paper scissors with a piece of paper, okay? Piece of paper. This is for doing a pre-shrink test, which I'll show you later on in the video, so make sure to stay until the end. Four reasons why you should be pre-washing your fabric. Pre-shrinking, kind of self-explanatory, to shrink your fabric down to size. So basically, the fibers are being stretched out. What you're doing is washing them and setting them back into place, which means that you can lose up to five to 10% of your fabric when after you pre-shrunk this. Number two, new fabric does not mean clean fabric, okay? It could be a little dusty, it could be some smells and some chemicals in there. For sure, there are chemicals, okay? If you go and watch one of my videos, T-shirt explained, okay? I talk about all of the different chemicals that are put into fibers, into fabrics, while manufacturing. New does not mean clean. Number three is sizing, especially cotton and some other kind of drapey fabrics. They do have sizing in this. It's an agent that helps the warp fibers slide easily and weave much easier during manufacturing, the manufacturing process. Number four, preventing the bleeding of dyes and crocking. It is a weird word, I know. Which really just means that when the fabric is rubbed up against a lighter fabric, say if you have a dark denim, and it's rubbing up against something that is light colored, you'll have the dye that rubs off on the lighter fabric. If you're sitting on a white couch, perhaps, you might not wanna do that with a new pair of jeans. Pre-washing your fabric takes out a lot of these extra dyes that haven't been set into the fibers. Now we're gonna be getting into how to specifically wash each one of these fibers, starting with cotton. The one thing that cotton has is sizing, which we talked about. It's, it's very stiff. And after pre-washing your fabric, you'll see that a lot of the sizing comes out and it becomes softer by hand. Typically, I would wash in cold. I would wash everything in cold because it's more environmentally friendly. But in the case of cotton, I would wash it in warm, okay? And then I would put it in a warm dryer or a hot dryer. I would rather my final garment not shrink at all after I finish a project like very little. So I wanna get as much of the shrinkage out of the fabric as possible before I go and sew my final project. Silk and wool. If you are planning on washing your silk, which I have done for the look of it, okay? Because I wanted the design, I wanted the fabric to have a reaction. I wanted it to look washed. So I washed my silk charmeuse, so it used to look like this, all shiny, but afterwards it looked all hammered and it had a different finish. And I know that I can wash this in cold and hang to dry. However, if you are planning on dry cleaning your silk and your wool, if your finished garments are going to be 
diffused and dry clean only, then I suggest not washing them. I know I said to pre-wash all of your fabric, but this is the one exception, okay? If your final garment is, is going to be dry clean only. The funny, funny fabric of rayon. You don't find much around anymore, or so they say, around here. But you actually find it in H&M, Zara, because it's a very inexpensive fabric. It's a cellulose fiber. It has a very soft hand feel, and it just feels good on, on the body. And it drapes nicely. The one thing about this fabric is it shrinks like crazy. And you have to be pretty careful when you're washing this thing. So I suggest either hand washing in cold with a delicate soap and lay flat to dry. That's important because Rayon loves to shrink and then expand, especially when it's being hung. Next, we're gonna be talking about acetate and nylon and polyester. Polyester is one of those fabrics that you can just wash it many, many, many times. Nothing will happen to it. I mean, generally. Acetate, on the other hand, you have to be careful when it's wet, okay? So hanging it to dry, just be careful when you're hanging it. You could even lay it flat to dry. Nylon is totally fine, cold wash, and um, you can do it even in a dr low dry, tumble dry. Polyester, like I said, can take a beating. So you can do cold wash and then also a tumble dry on even high if you want. At any cost, you want these fabrics to take out any shrinkage. Jerseys and knits. It really depends on your fiber content, I would have to say, because Tinsel, Model, your jersey cottons, your bamboos, it really depends on how it's being knit, okay? So the weave of the fabric, but generally I like to say that in cold, on a gentle cycle, and tumble dry, or even hang to dry. We're gonna get to our shrink test template and I'll show you how to go do that. And we can figure out the formula and how you can understand how much your fabric shrinks. Paper. What you do is you measure out a 10 by 10 square, okay, on your paper. Ooh, yeah, whatever. Now you have a template and you put this on your fabric. You use it like a pattern, putting it up against the salvage edge. Cut around that with your fabric scissors, don't forget. I mean, you could pin it, but I don't have time for that. After you've cut out your 10 by 10 square, you take this and you baste around the edges. We're gonna go to the sewing machine. After you've done this, you've basted the edges, we take this to the washing machine. Don't put this in the wash. Put this in the wash. Cool? Oh, and one more thing. Hot tip, this has happened to me so many times. I have washed some fabric. It frayed like crazy and got all tangled in my washing machine. So before you put any fabric into the washing machine, baste your edges, baste your cut edges, not your salvage because it's already finished. Or you can serge your edge if you are lucky and you have a serger. Now that you've washed your fabric and you've ironed it, you put your swatch over top of your template. In order to find the fabric shrinkage formula, take the width of the square block before shrinkage, so 10 inches, 
minus the width of the square block after shrinkage. So whatever the measurement is after shrinkage, divide that by the width of the square block before shrinkage, which is 10 inches, and times that all by 100, and you'll get the percentage. Do this for the length and the width, and you'll find the percentage for each, the warp and the weft. Does that make sense? No? This is how you're supposed to figure out how your fabric reacts, shrink-wise. So if your fabric shrinks like crazy, or has a weird reaction like this, you'll know that. And if I had known that my silk did this before washing, I wouldn't have washed it. It really is just to understand how much your fabric shrinks, if you need more fabric, or if it reacts really weirdly. That's all. You wanna pre-shrink all of your fabric, regardless, before you start sewing. Ta-da! Pre-shrinking is a must. Trick ya! Tip at the end. <laughs> wool and silk, okay? If you are not washing your wool and silk, I highly suggest steaming your fabric. Once you get to the iron and then you find that your fabric starts shrinking, which has happened to me with wool, it tends to just all of a sudden start shrinking right underneath your very eyes. And it's devastating because then you have a piece that is super small and it's because you didn't steam it before because wool obvious re obviously reacts differently in under heat. The same with silk. Test out your fabrics under steam, under hot, hot heat like wool and silk. All right, ooh, that's it for me today. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment down below. I would love to hear from you. If you really like this video, give me a thumbs up. This is your fashion guru signing off.